What's up guys, Jake here with Jake's Got Herps, not to be confused with herpes, herpes is nasty. In this video I wanted to update you guys on my ball python Gretchen, she's doing very well. A lot of people didn't realize that I keep a ball python because you never see them in my reptile collection videos, which by the way I will be doing sometime this week, hopefully uh, before the month is over. But I do have a ball python and a lot of people in my comments are like, you son of a bitch, you need a, a ball python. You know, you got all these other snakes, you, you need to get a ball python, you son of a bitch. And um, uh, the reason I don't show a lot of videos of Gretchen and uh, any videos of my mom's house really is because there's a lot of people around all the time and the video making atmosphere isn't the best. Like I'm in my living room, the TV's always on quite loud and there's always people, you know, moving around and there's a lot of commotion. It's just not the best video making atmosphere and I know it seems like kind of a weak thing to say but I don't really like putting up videos that I don't believe are good. Uh, I like putting up videos, even if they're short videos that I feel, you know, people will enjoy and I don't like, you know, uploading videos just for the sake of uploading them. Uh, but, you know, a lot, of, a lot of my longtime subscribers know that I have a ball python and a lot of you guys have wanted to see her. So here she is. This is Gretchen and uh, I'll just run you through her enclosure really quick. She's in a 55 gallon aquarium. I know it's not really popular to put uh, you know, any reptile really in a glass aquarium, but especially a ball python. And I don't really understand that. I mean, I understand people put, um, I, I know why people put their animals in plastic containers. You know, it's a lot of the times more efficient in terms of humidity and um, temperature. And it's easier to regulate those things. And it's more convenient and it's cheaper and all those things. But a lot of people look at this, you know, large 55 gallon enclosure, which, you know, which is a pretty big sized uh, aquarium. It's like three by two out of glass, I think. And they look at it and they're like, bro, why do you have a, you know, a ball python in here? Why don't you make a cool viv for like a rainbow boa or something else? And you know, the simple reason is I really like this snake and I don't think you should deprive a snake or any reptile really of something that, you know, you can provide it just because it's you know this or you know just because it's a ball python or just because it's a normal you know you shouldn't give it any less of uh care than you would any other snake because that's like that's like saying that oh because that person is black i should treat them uh you know worse than i would treat somebody that's white or something and i know a lot of people don't think that way a lot of people are racist unfortunately but uh, that, that's just you know how i think of it and i know that's kind of a weird topic to go off on you know I'm talking about ball pythons and now I'm talking about racism but uh, you know anyway uh, 55 gallon aquarium uh, half of the substrate is aspen and half of it is repti bark I'm not really sure what the real purpose of that is I mean I guess this is easier to mist uh, the repti bark holds in more moisture than the aspen aspen gets kind of moldy when you get it wet and uh, it's not the best so I guess it's more for humidity I think just think it kind of looks cool but that's just me I have this little tree trunk hide that she really likes to hide. I'm surprised she's not in there right now. A uh, couple plants, you know, all over the place. There used to be a lot more. If you guys, uh, if you guys go on my Instagram or if you've watched any of my old videos, I used to have a lot more uh, fake plants. But she kept like clinging on them, like she was like a little boa or something, and she would knock them down. And I just got tired of putting them back up. There's a little buffalo skull in the middle there, pretty cool. A water dish that she can fit in and a uh, little fake plant. And on the top here we have, this is a UVB light. My heat is provided by an under tank heat mat. And I provide the UVB light just because, you know, I can. Uh, no other reason than that. You don't really need to provide them with UVB. Uh, most people don't. But, you know, again, if you can provide it, you know, why not do it? And it also helps keep the, you know, 12 hour day and night cycle for her. And uh, over here I have this piece of plexiglass because a lot of people have really difficulty uh, with their ball python sheds and that's because if you're using a glass aquarium, humidity is going to go straight out the top. You're not going to keep any unless you have a hide such as this that doesn't have very many openings and you fill it with like some damp moss or eco earth or something like that. Just a little tip for you guys. And uh, you know, here she is, Gretchen, my, uh, my super omega, you know, ninja platinum ball python. You know, she's a normal, but I don't like when people say, like like I said before, I don't like when people say, uh, you know, this snake's just the normal, this ball python or boa or corn snake or whatever is just the normal because, again, you don't treat your animals any different than you would treat uh, any of the other animals of the same species. So, 
Uh, I'm not going to rant too much more on that, uh, even though I could all day, as you guys know, I love to rant, but yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Uh, like I said, I will be doing my Reptile Collection video hopefully sometime soon. And uh, hopefully you guys stick around for that. And I will see you guys later. Peace.